So, I was going to say, do we all remember what happened last time, but Nick, you weren't actually here last time. Hell yeah. Right. Did you read the session notes, Nick? Did you do the homework? No, I haven't. <laughs> no. Let me... Go and look. You've actually got two lots of session notes to catch up on because you didn't start... You missed the first session as well. Oh god, oh god. I remember you guys went to Middenheim to meet with... Uh, oh, what was his name? It wasn't the grass. Big dog. The boy. boy. Big dog, the biggest of dogs. That's where they're here to mate. And you're not in <laughs> Middenheim, you're in Altdorf. AF. Sorry, in Altdorf. The, uh, the dolfiest of all the old alts. Oh, what was the grab in Old Dorf? Mm. Cathedral. To luxuriate in a bath. Mm. That's right. I've realised that I've called something specs. Wolf Hal, which is definitely not a thing. <laughs> Should be, though. That sounds sick. He's, um... Yeah, related to the shallow hell, I assume. <clears throat> <laughs> Ulrich went drinking. Not much happened. Yeah, yeah. But we had to tell people that Heike was dead. You did have to tell That's people right. that Heike was dead. Yeah, and uh, Wolfgang was spoken to by the Grey Wizards. Um... And they asked you if you would provide them with information um, throughout your travels. I think you agreed to that. Mm -hmm. There's a mysterious Leon character. Mm. That would be me. Oh! Well, well, well. Leon, Leon. is um, a guard, one of the... Um, guards of Graf Boris Todbringer who has been assigned to the party as they are, you know, kind of a big deal. Not you. Okay, cool. Feel like you're up to speed? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I can, I can work with all of this. Nailed it. Alright, well, first cab off the rank is um, I need to roll some dice and see what the weather's like. Oh yeah, it gets foggy. It gets Up foggy. That's right. All right, we are in fifty. It is uh, the morning. Take ten off. It is clear. No fog today. Sick. Ow! I've just destroyed my knee. Wonderful. Oh no. Good way to start. Okay, um, so it is the morning following your, um, meeting with the Grey Wizards, oh sorry, the Grey Guardians of the, um, Grey College. It's a clear morning as you, um, wake up in Wolf Hall. Um, I think her name was Hilda. I can't remember. Hilda? Helga? Helga. Wolfstotter? That's the one. Helga Wolfstotter. She, um, as you are all sort of making your way down to the uh, dining hall for a, 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 a breakfast of cold meats and fr uh, fresh fruit and whatnot, um, Helga comes back and says, um, I have received a missive from uh, the Imperial Palace. You are to be expected to present yourself there in three days hence. Sorry, I missed what's in three days from where our meeting. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just rereading the notes. Um, you will be required to uh, have more suitable attire than um, she sort of l her eye sort of rests on Jehanna and um, <laughs> you know, and also casts an eye over Ulrich in his 
essentially like loincloth and nothing else. <laughs> and um, so, it's yeah, you been will, a tough couple of months. You will uh, you will be required to wear more suitable attire for presentation before the emperor. That's culturally insensitive, but I'll right. Have you got any velvet? <laughs> um, I can recommend a tailor who can um, fast track a new outfit for you. If, uh, Delightful. If you so um, wish. I will also yeah, need a matching to see one it, to ladies George. and gentlemen. <laughs> Whoa, hello. We just got a new follower. How, how crazy. Hey! Hello. How crazy. Uh, I'm fairly sure they're a bot. But that's fine. That is okay. Well, I, I, for one, welcome I, our robot yeah. followers. I'll accept it. I will accept bots. It's fine. Num numbers and numbers. Yeah. yeah. The algorithm doesn't know. The algorithm. Exactly. The algorithm map. Let's, let's go. More, we'll see it. More bots will see it. Bring, bring your bot friends, Mr. Bot. Yeah. Please, please. Um, and if you're not a bot, I apologize for calling you a bot. Yes. Um, anyway. Yeah. Hello, bot or otherwise. Uh, right, so uh, she says, yes, there are... Um, there are two tailors, uh, not far from here, that could uh, suit your mean, uh, your needs. There is either the uh, the Brax brothers, uh, or there is Jaeger's wool merchants. Hmm. Um. Of, I'm gonna say probably Ulrich and. You know what? I'm gonna get all of you to make for me a uh, law empire or law Reichland test if you've got it. Um, if you have law Reichland, it'll be. Oh, no, it'll be average either way. All right. Let me just get my sheet up and running. Mm -hmm. Do I have Laura Reichland? See how I got Laura Middenheim, which doesn't help. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's all I have. Do, 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 do. It's on. It's in the middle oh, row course. usually. Oh, I got mid. -room. I do. Yeah. What's the difficulty? Average. Sick. Oh, a crit success. Um, the name Jaeger is very familiar to you. You have heard tell of. Uh, a famous Jaeger, none other than Felix Jaeger, companion of one Gotrek, Gernison. Ooh. Ah. You wonder if perhaps they're related. Well, we're going to find out. We're going there first. Alright. Um... I'm pretty sure last session we might have been last session. We spoke about me talking to Helga about her lending me some like um, a halberd and some better, like nicer quality guard uniform and stuff. I remember that. Yep, um, that that was definitely agreed upon. The um, sergeant who is stationed at Wolf Hall um, has arranged for a fresh um, dress uniform to be. Um, uh, commissioned. Uh, pr it's probably less commissioned and more sort of brought out of store and um, maybe oh. maybe altered to fit to, uh, to fit better. Um, yep. And they have some spare, you know, uh, breastplates and halberds and stuff that they can polish up for the occasion, and it's so like you can you can look the part. Up and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Because um, I think both you and uh, Wolfgang had the oh, uh, right. one of the got one of the. Um, one of the soldiers who has, you know, a bit handy as a, as a smith, sort of fix some links in your uh, your chain mail and buff out some dings and various bits of plate and whatnot. That's right. So that everything is all spick and span for when you are presented before the emperor. Um, but yes, you are of course more than welcome to go to Jaeger's Wool Merchants and uh, inquire about some tailoring. Yes. All right. Well, you make your way to Jaeger's Wool Merchants, which is in, um, and I do have this written down. I actually have prepared things. Would you actually believe it? Mm -hmm. um, it, it? 
not too far away, actually. It is in the, uh, the Neusgeld, <laughs> which is uh, just over here. So quite close to where you are, because you're currently uh, here at Wolf Hall. Awesome. Oh. We are going to have a taste of high society. Yep. It tastes delicious. So, you make your way over. Um, it takes you maybe 10-15 minutes. It's not very far. And um, as you arrive, you find um, what looks like a fairly humble establishment from the outside. It's, um, you know, nothing fancy. It's two stories. One story slightly overhangs the other um, with a bit of a lean to it. The, the building itself is not flashy in any way. It's, you know, um, very much in the same style as all the other buildings surrounding it. And it's just got a small sign hanging from the uh, above the door, which says, um, for those of you who can read, Jaeger's Wool Merchants. <laughs> I can't read. Nope, I think only one of you can read. <laughs> Despite my best efforts. Ah, uh, yep, this is the place. <laughs> yep. I both definitely cannot read. Mm -hmm. We I didn't have to cross, cross the bridge. Nor do I thing. see any reason to. No, you did not have to cross the bridge. Um, it's in this district here, Alex, so it's not very far for you to walk at all. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you enter the establishment, and it is a hub of activity. There is um, a counter where three different individuals are speaking to uh, a number of um, customers. Some appear to be... Uh, wool traders, others appear to be um, merchants themselves looking to purchase new attire. Uh, and off to one side is a painting of um, Gotrek and Felix. Hey. It's, it's, it's somewhat, it's somewhat um, uh, dramatized, you know. Uh, hike, uh, not hiker. Jehenna, sorry, with your um, your crit f uh, success from before, you know that um, <coughs> Felix isn't that much. Like he's not, he's tall, but he's not that tall. <laughs> and Gotrek is muscular, but he's not that muscular. Um, so it's definitely been dramatized for uh, you know to help buff up the um, the family name, to help drum up some extra business. Well, I gotta get whoever that is to do my portrait. <laughs> um, and eventually, uh, someone notices you and um, comes over and says, "Ah, welcome to Jaeger's Wool Merchants. Uh, can I uh, assist you at all with any um, with anything? Are you looking to purchase a um, a share in uh, the wool trade, or perhaps you're looking for new attire?" I think we know some kinsmen of yours, and I'll um, describe how we've met their kinsmen and uh, compliment the painting and also ask who painted it. I, I must know who painted that. Ah, uh, this, this thing, it was commissioned by, um, oh, I can't even remember who it was now, some some elvish princess or one other, I don't know. Uh, Felix has a way <laughs> with words. He's forever saying things. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that half of the things he says aren't true. <laughs> they are entertaining. Indeed, they are. Have you, uh, perchance, read uh, the uh, first tome of uh, my travels with Gotrek? Um, I unfortunately I haven't. Um, it sounds fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you uh, if you get the chance to pick up a copy, it is well worth. Oh, absolutely. Um, well if, I, if I get the chance, I'll um, I'll have a good look over it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, how how may I assist you? Ah, we're looking uh, to have some um, ta new tailored outfits. We're meeting some pretty uh, hoity-toity individuals, and George and I may not be up to their standards, so. Need something really quite spick and span. I see, I see. And from um, 
the inside of his sleeve, he produces um, a cashew and hands it over to George. George accepts with, with a you know with a, with a flourish and whatnot. George has found a new best friend. Um. <laughs> and um, will you all be acquiring uh, new outfits, or is it just um, the lady and her companion here? Hey, I'll need something as well. Hey. Very good, Master Dwarf. Very good indeed. And um, uh, brother priest and um, uh, soldier. We are. I, I'm quite all right, thank you. Very well. Uh, I believe I am required to be attired more formally. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with some of the more, I don't know, more appropriate robes, styles that I should be wearing. Certainly, certainly there are, and he sort of casts a, a gaze over your somewhat, um, let's go with homespun robe. Yeah. Which has definitely seen better days. Yeah. And I don't think I've got a new one yet, yeah. No. He, he uh, says, yes, uh, we can certainly bring you up to the, the latest uh, fashion trends amongst the various different uh, clergy members of Oddorf's upper society. Not a problem at all. And um, you are fine, of course. You said a uh, good soldier. Right. Uh, well, if you will step this way, please. And he... Um, raises um, a sort of fold-back part of the counter and leads you through to a um, fitting room. Excellent. And, um... So, there's a sort of a couch-type thing. Um, and, you know, he gestures you all to sit and an assistant brings in um, a pitcher of chilled wine and um, a plate containing grapes and... Um, cheeses and whatnot, and uh, he says, right, uh, which of you would like to um, be measured up first? I will present George. Excellent. A fine choice. And he um, brings forth uh, what looks like um, if you want to imagine like a medieval version of a high chair. Amazing. Um, I would like to imagine yeah, that. Yeah, and sets George upon it. Um, how well trained is George, do you think, with strangers? George is pr reasonably well trained, um, and for the promise of a cashew, mm. um, I think he'd be pretty good. Let me take a look at his, um, little sheet here. Let's take a look. Well, he's trained, he's broken, mm -hmm. he has fetch. Okay. I think I just clicked on that. Yep. Um... um I reckon so he's, hmm? if you can give me a let's go an easy willpower test. He's already been slightly won over by the um, being given a cashew. So give me an easy willpower test from George so to see if he will George, behave. George, easy. Um, now that's WP for willpower, is it not? That is correct. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I can. Do an easy one. <laughs> um, if you want, you can try an average animal training or oh, a charm animal test. If uh, you've got it. I've got, I've got animal training. Okay. Monkey. Uh, in so that average. in that case, yep. Yeah, do an average animal training monkey test to see if um, you can influence that role. Cool. Okay, he's that gonna, he's gonna need bribes, but he'll do it. Yeah, that does. <laughs> it will reduce it by. I'm gonna say um, one. So it will still be a failure, but it won't be as bad a failure. Um, nice. Uh, so, with the constant presentation of cashews and various other nuts and pieces of fruit, Georges manages to stay still and subject uh, be subjected to measuring. Um, with relatively little fussing. That's good. Excellent. Um, excellent. Well, we seem to have got uh, young Master George's um, measurements. Uh, we will, of course, worry about um, styles and, and uh, fabrics and, and whatnot after the fact. Um, uh, madam, would you care to be next? Uh, certainly. Cool. Um, I require no treats. You... <laughs> So they are appreciated. He uh, he chuckles at that. <laughs> uh, removes the high chair. No high chair for you. <laughs> oh, good. Um... 
Uh, no willpower test for you. It's a little bit awkward being measured up, but it's not. Your you don't need to um, to see if you I don't know lash out or shift yourself in front of him. I'm sure you're uh, you have enough bodily. Very unlikely. Yeah, I think you have enough bodily control to manage that. Yep. If I can if I can have body control of fighting off a giant fire snake, I think I got this. Mm. All right. So. Um, Whenever um, they leave the room, or the guy leaves the room, and it's just us left in there, I'm gonna like sneak cheese and wine because, like, I'm not buying anything, but like, <laughs> I don't get cheese and wine every day. Yeah, so. it's true. <laughs> All right, so he um, finishes messaging you up and uh, says, "Of course, we will worry about fits and." <laughs> Styles and, and types of fabric, uh, once I've mentioned a lot of you. Um, Master Dwarf, would you care to be next? Aye. Go on. Um, and he um, does not get the high chair out for you, you're fine. <laughs> but um, Jeez, that'd be a fight on site. you also find this quite uncomfortable. I actually think I will get you to make a willpower test on this one. <laughs> I, I, think you'd, make I think you'll find this quite uncomfortable. So, I'm going to say it's a challenging willpower test. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Ah, loves it. Fine. Loves it. You, I um, yearn for death. This is nothing to me. Yeah, exactly. You're like, okay, whatever. I have to get dressed up, fine. Me measure me, manling. Do it. Measure In me up, old man. <laughs> Enjoy my girth. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Does uh, he have to make a willpower test for the smell? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't washed down there in years. <laughs> I saw the need for it, laddie. Go on, then. Big fat. Go. It doesn't mm. smell great. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, and um, finally, uh, uh, brother, will you um, step forward and I shall actually metal you? Of course. Um, and I think Wolfgang would also not find this uncomfortable. No, I think He's so. dealt with it. I will sure. think, though, that you are finding it difficult to stand still, so it takes a bit longer for him to yeah. complete your measurements because you're kind of twitchy. Jittery and fidgety, and yeah. Um, so once he's completed that, he says... Um, I'll start, he'll start measuring me, and then I'll just go off and, like, go and inspect some fabric in the corner or something. Yeah. Just sort of just, nice. his, just before he gets on to the next bit. Um, so he, uh, once he's finished measuring you, he says, um, right, um, I shall be back in a moment. I shall go and collect some fabric samples and a, uh, a catalogue of, um, some styles and I shall return momentarily. And, um, he leaves the room, um, uh, providing Leon with the perfect chance to sneal, uh, to sneak some cheese and wine. Sneal some To sneal some cheese and wine. Gotta love sneeling. Yes. It's the best kind of stealing. I'm going to give George pats because he's been very good and didn't bite anyone. Anyone going to give Ulrich any pats? Um, <laughs> I think I might be taking my life in my hands doing that, so no, he can pat himself in private. Um, I snarl. Like <laughs> I demand cashews. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So he returns a moment later with an assistant, and um, the assistant is carrying a uh, selection of swatches of various different fabrics and um, oh, wool weaves and velvets mm. and silks and cerises and all sorts of different stuff. Oh, that A lot yeah. of things that you probably have never even heard of or dreamt of in your wildest dreams. Um, but most of them are various different types of wool. Unsurprisingly, mm. they are a wool merchant. Mm. Um... And then uh, the gentleman who has not uh, fully introduced himself, but you get the feeling that he is a Jaeger of some description. He look there's a, a passing resemblance to, to Felix from the painting, even though he, you know it was dramatized. Um, he has a, a, a sort of a book which contains um, uh, quite cr uh, elegantly rendered um, paintings of various different styles of clothing yes um, and 
as he works down the line, he says, uh, and uh, for Master Georges, we have these, and he has like a selection of like young child's like squires like, outfits and whatnot, and adorable. Um, uh, then for yourself, he has um, he offers a, a selection of gowns. It's up to you whether or not you choose to go down that path. Um, I think Johanna will go for gowns, but we'll inquire as to how wide the skirts are and how much weaponry could be belted underneath. Ah, indeed. A woman of, um, necessity. Violent tastes, Vi yes. Of violent tendencies, I understand. Uh, you Thank would not you. be the first woman who has inquired as to such things. Um, yes, we can certainly arrange for a, um, uh, a split seam and for a, a wide enough hoop to allow for, um, secreted hidden weapons. Uh, certainly. One... Yes. Um... And then uh, he gets to Ulrich, and he has a selection of um, rather um, tasteful, like, dwarven-style um, clothing. Nice. Dwarven style? Yep. He says, uh, we, of course, we uh, cater to uh, the builders, as, as you are, and um, we uh, have a strong relationship with them, as you are no doubt aware, thanks to our... our, our uh, our cousin's relationship with um, the dwarves. I'll be right back. I see. Can I appraise the uh, the clothing? Sure. To make sure it is of fine uh, garment tree. Yeah, by all means. Uh, you can do an evaluate test. I will say challenging. Clothing is not your strong suit. Indeed, it is not. Uh, challenging. Mm. This might be the greatest suit I've ever seen. Mm. Mm. You're not sure, but at least they're pictures of dwarves wearing clothing that looks to be made for dwarves. Mm. So you're not gonna you're not gonna say no. Is there is there any in this you know this painting book thing? that look very not at all my style <laughs> like like very flourishy for as much as a dwarf can be flourishy certainly oh god yeah um can yeah. i as i'm going through going mm, yes i have no idea what i'm doing just accidentally pick that one and go hey that one will be the one buddy yep by all means there is um he says he sort of raises an eyebrow at your suggestion but um says of course master dwarf if that is your uh, your heart's desire, then it shall be done. Ain't nothing too gauche. A bold choice, Dwarf, a bold choice. I just look around, oh, trying sorry. to hide my stress, just being like, hey, hey. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then, um, Brother Priest, and he has a selection of um, what appear to be surprisingly ostentatious robes. Um, yeah. And... They're like a little like inset with uh, various different, um, I guess, religious iconography that can be uh, woven in as a um, as a yeah, sort of yeah. signet, so or it could be I, into the I hem. Spy on a deep, a deep midnight blue, sort of um, satin satin that's that's um, embroidered with twin tail comets, like small twin tail comets. Yep, I'm like that. That's the fabric. An excellent choice, Brother Priest. An excellent choice. And very much in keeping with uh, the latest trends amongst the clergy. Of course. And then it must be... Uh, but I must have silver trim um, for my role in the uh, the armour, the silver silver hammer. Of course, of course. And he makes a, a small note on his um, little uh, notepad that he's been keeping um, tally with. Silver trim. Excellent, of course. And... Um, uh, for those of you who are curious, we have a selection of fabrics to choose from if you wish for anything non, uh, not catalogue, if as it were. And um, as I said, there's lots of various different types of wools and satins and silks and whatnot. So, um, do any of you pick anything like extra out of the uh, like non-catalogue spec? Can I go with one of those big puffy things around the neck? 
You sure fucking can. Right, so just in my absolute state of being unable to evaluate, I'm just like, hey, I'll get one of them. Hey. Yep. Hey. Of course, a rough Master Dwarf. Um, certainly not the latest fashion, but um, still very popular in Bretonia, I understand. Hey, hey, I'm sure it is. Um, I'm sure, you know, tradition goes down well. Hey. I just give, like, a very stressed look to Johanna as if it's like, I definitely know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so, unless, um, Steph, you have any final thoughts? Oh, she's still away. Ah, okay. Mm. She'll be back in a second, I think. Um, so he, um, I'll, I'll get Steph's response when she returns, but he, um, says, very well. Um, and how quickly do you require these garments? As quickly as you can have them done. Within the next couple of days, ideally. A couple of days, well, um, for that type of, uh, expediency, it will cost slightly more, of course. He uh, makes a note in his notepad that uh, haste is required. Aye, aye. You could say profane haste is required. Profane haste, intriguing. <laughs> Would you say it's a is it, is it profane urgency? That's the one, yeah. Same diff. Same diff, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, and so he um, Ben goes on and says, All right, "Of course, are there any um, any extra details you wish with this? Do you require um, any uh, belts, any further um, holsters, or ba uh, bags, or um, pouches that uh, can just really finish off an attire? A new a new scabbard for your sword, perchance, or..." Um, Maybe um, some new uh, <clears throat> master, uh, good uh, good soldier. I know you said you require nothing, but maybe you require a new a new gambeson to go underneath your um, your your plate and chain. I uh, I think I cannot afford. Very well, very well. I am just the guard. I cannot spend like these people. Thank you. <clears throat> of course, of course. Um, for yourself, Master Dwarf, do do you require a uh, a, a leather scrip for your um for your axe to to rest at your side? Oh, of course, laddie. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not gonna. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna walk in there wearing the. The, the suit of the century here and not have a, a proper uh, uh, holster for me axe, eh? Hey? Excellent, that excellent. Uh, and he um, says, and uh, I assume you'll want, of course, um, dragon scale leather, the best f for um, presenting to the Emperor, of course. Aye, 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 I nod nervously. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Um, we do have some dragon scale leather flying around. Well, I'm sure we can ensure that that is, uh, that is arranged for you. Um, Alright, unless there is any further alterations you uh, require for your, um, your attires, I think we have everything that we need. Oh, excellent, buddy. Um, now, if you'll just uh, give us a, uh, a short moment, I shall go and um, run some figures and I shall return to you with, a, uh, with an invoice. And he uh, steps out of the room once again. Once more, allowing Leon to dine on cheese and wine. Yeah, knowing, like, what they've just asked for, I'm just, like, eating a whole bunch. I'm like, this is not going to go well. <laughs> or, or it's going to be astronomical prices and I'm going to need a glass of wine just to hear the values. Um. Alright, so after... 
maybe five minutes of waiting, he returns and says, Ah, well, thank you for your patience, madame, sirs, young Georges. Um, I have run some figures, and for all of your outfits, it will cost a grand total of 20 gold pieces. I just, like, put my hand on the wall next to me, <laughs> like, stumble back a bit. I'm not even paying, <laughs> but it's still too much for me to hear. I just, I just take a step back and just... Of course, the, uh, the, the graph is paying for this, is it? I like looking at everyone else, right? Like, it's like this, that's, that was part of why we have been sent here from the graph, is it not? The, uh, oh, graph you say? I don't remember. Of course, that. yeah, you can send the uh, send the invoice to Wolf Hall. Oh, of course. Are you um, uh, guests of uh, Graf Todbringer? Indeed we are. Ah, well, that changes Very things, kind. of course. I will put that onto his tab. Oh, well, um, maybe, I, maybe I will have. <laughs> yeah, nice. Do it. Sorry, what was that, good sir? I uh, think, good master soldier? I think I will have that Gamberson. Can you can you measure me if it is going to the graph? Why not? <laughs> and there's a there's a, a sparkle in his eye as he gives you a sly wink and says, "Of course, of course, master soldier. Of course we can. Um, if it's if, the, if it's on the graph's coin, of course we can. Uh, we can certainly measure you up and arrange a new Gamberson <laughs> for you. Um, please come forward. And uh, you're measured up. He presents to you a various selection of um, Gambersons. Uh, and you know, under tunics and and whatnot. Nice. Um, Something in like a black blue. Excellent, thing. lovely. Um, Tasteful. And uh, then he says, uh, "Well, if, including this, it will only be an additional, as it is for the graph after all, um, an additional three gold crowns." So, I think. All told, that brings us to 23 gold crowns for all of your attire. Um, and I shall uh, charge this to the graph. Um, I shall send the invoice to Wolf Hall. Now, I'm, I'm fairly certain that that wasn't meant to be part of the agreement, but whatever. <laughs> well, we'll... You'll soon we'll find out. out. That bridge when we get to oh, it. Won't we? Yeah. Discussion for us and the graph. That's it. Yep. I can get at least a gold and a half resale. Alright. Very well. If there is nothing else, then um, I will send your garments once made to Wolf Hall. Uh, and these will be with you uh, at the earliest the day after tomorrow. Wonderful. Uh, that will need to be the earliest, because that is when we are summoned to meet with... Um, I well, we, we've dog. got three days. Three days. Oh, okay, so is, that, yeah. is that like one today, and then one tomorrow, and then the third day? Or is it today is zero, and then we count three days? Today is day zero. Three days hence. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well... Uh, if there is nothing further, then I shall uh, bid you all a fine day. Sigmar, bless all of you. And uh, we shall um, hopefully have your um, business in the future. Ah, uh, yes. Family and friends cool. and all that. Indeed. Indeed. And if you do see uh, young Felix, tell him that uh, his cousin Franz is looking forward to his uh, return to Altdorf next, and to uh, share an ale and hear some of his wild stories of his adventures. I'm sure he'll have many to tell you. I have no doubt. Fare you well. Um, and uh, he... I bow as exit. Yep. He um, accepts it and bows in return formally. And uh, you were sort of ushered out, but not in a sort of rushed way. You're sort of guided out of the shop, and um, he holds the door open for you as you exit, and 
and uh, wishes you um, Sigmar's blessing as you uh, head down the street. So yeah. nice. Usually I'm thrown out by the back of my collar. Like, real classy joint. Fireworks, dude. Yeah. I can hear it too. It's like right next door. Ooh. Sounds pretty close to us as well. What's that, sorry? Fireworks. Oh, uh, like uh, yeah, the um, ah. Kelmscott show is on. Yeah. Ah, I was gonna say usually there's fireworks around us whenever Curtin's doing something. So. Yeah, the, the Kelmscott show's on this weekend, so that's that's probably why you can hear it, Nick, because you're probably not too far yeah. off from it. It's it's literally in the park. That's like a ten minute walk from here. Yeah. Nice. Um, so it's quite fucking loud. Mm, I'm not it's surprised. Just... I can't hear it from where I am, but I'm also not listening out for it. Uh, I'm just close up there. Yeah. Front door and windows, cause yeah, it was super loud. Oh no! And then uh, Ripley got a bit startled. Oh dear, not ideal. Oh. Um. All right. Well, you've got the better part of two and a half days to um to do as you will. Anything you would like to do? Oh well, maybe I could make another. Uh, hmm. Could I make a stab at reading again? Could I find someone to teach me, or is that more um, downtime sort of stuff? I mean, we can certainly treat these couple of days as a short downtime if you like. Um, oh, I wouldn't mind, because if, if I can't read that book, it's going to be really awkward <laughs> next time we go back. Um, Tell you what, I'm happy to, if, if the rest of you would like to, we can do a short downtime of... Um, you'll each get one endeavor, and I won't make it that you have to spend that endeavor uh, doing an income endeavor. Because be nice. it's only a couple of days. I don't think you necessarily need to go and work your job for the mm. two of you who uh, would require it. Um, so that's fine. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Now, there are um, some special Altdorf-specific endeavours that you can do. Oh, yeah? Um, there is... Uh, this one might be of particular interest to uh, Wolfgang. Uh, penance. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I would say that you have undertaken a pilgrimage. So if you wish to undertake a penance endeavour, you may yeah. do so. If you okay. are successful, you will um, remove a sin point. Oh, actually, you haven't got any sin points. I haven't got any sin points. He's free of sin. You are, yeah. in fact, free of sin. He's puritanical. Um, how many corruption oh, points do you have? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. He's entirely free of sin. Well, it's... it's... Uh, did you say four, Alex? No, no. Um, let me look. How many corruption points do I have? I have two corruption points. Two corruption points. Okay, well, in that case, I will say rather than um, removing sin points, we can remove corruption points if you undertake uh, penance. Yes. Um, so it is one sin point if you pass, or if it is a impressive success or better, it'll be two. If you fail, yeah. it will be a fatigue condition. Yeah, right. Uh, and if it's a crit fail, it'll be a Wrath of the Gods test. Oof. Mm, okay. Is that going to summon shit again? It, it could well do. Oh, God. So, um, before you do that, I will say there are other options are available. Yeah, yeah. There is Train with an Unusual Weapon. Um, oh. The option listed here is a particular type of weighted throwing knife. But I'm sure you could find in the armory at Wolf Hall um, any number of weapons that you would like to train with, um, if you would like to try that. Uh, there is test a magical item. Um, there you are in probably the best place to have a magical item tested to learn what it does. Or if you are feeling like becoming a patron of the arts, you can invest some money into a up-and-coming playwright and see if you... Um, can, I don't know, be a patron of the arts. 
I mean, I absolutely am never going to do that, but <laughs> I'm glad it exists. And otherwise, it's just the usual ones. Um, Wait, what? I, can't, I literally cannot hear you over these fireworks. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, otherwise, it's just the standard um, endeavors. Oh, okay. Um, is there a way I could, as my endeavor, I don't know what one it would apply to, but basically like check the markets and look for things that are in high demand in Middenheim, but are potentially going cheap here to purchase. Hmm. What sort of endeavor <coughs> is that fall on though? Let me have a look. Really would have thought there would have been a subsection for endeavors. That's fine. I will just type. And uh, endeavor. Wolfgang, is it possible to borrow some money that I could pay back in Middenheim? Oh, of course. I'm not sure how much yet, but I'm looking to pick up trade supplies or or something like this. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. I should take advantage of this opportunity to uh, try and uh, pay off some debts I have. Um, look, there's no specific one, so I'm going to say it probably falls under... I guess you could almost call it banking, because you are looking to make an investment. Yeah. So maybe we'll call this sort of like a um, banking endeavour, if you will, and you spend... X amount on, you know, items of um, of trade, and uh, I guess you see if your investment pays off when you, if and when you return to Middenheim and sell it. Mm -hmm. I feel like that works. Okay. Um, how much can you spare, Wolfgang? Uh, let me give you. Let me have a look. Oh, I could probably give you 15 silver. That would be greatly appreciated. I will uh, be sure to return your investment. Uh, just, yeah, I'll, I'll give you 15, 15 things. Yep. So, I can do uh, one... I do thirty silver shillings. Yep. So it's like one gold and ten shillings. Cool. Okay. Um, I will make a note that you are investing that. Um, uh, sorry, I'll see. In devils. Um, so, neon banking. I just realised that I'm now a warrior, but rangers and warriors have the same um, things they can do, save for the best one. Shame. Yeah. Um, how much did you say it was, Steve? One silver and... One, sorry, one gold and... One gold, ten silver. One gold, ten silver. Um, and do you want to roll for me a d10? Seven, cool. Seven percent interest. It's not bad. Um, at seven percent interest. Cool. Um, so we've got okay. And old oh, Rick. All right. Uh, who would like to do an endeavor next? I'm sure that the graph has tutors that could do their best to teach Johanna to read. Um, I reckon that uh, if you have a quiet word with Helga, she would be able to arrange for um, a priest or some such to come and um, attempt to tutor you in um, 
reading your letters and numbers. Now, Lovely. you've had a few attempts at this, haven't you? So I actually think you get a buff to this now. I believe so. I will have a look on your character sheet. I am certain that, because you've tried this a few times now, it's actually a buff and not um, not just terrible. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Upon your next unusual learning endeavor, reading, it is going to be average. Cool. So, uh, it's unusual learning, which will require... Um, uh, a cost, and have you got experience to burn? I assume so. I sure do. Cool. All right. So I have currently got nine hundred and forty experience. Yeah, you are. You're laughing. All right. So um, it will cost you in um, tuition costs. Uh, roll two d ten. Um, it will cost you thirteen shillings. Cool. Um, all right, and you may make a. Um, it will be an intelligence test. Average. Mm -hmm. Alright. There it is. You have successfully learnt the talent read write. Hell yeah. Amazing. After three years we've uh, done it. After <laughs> we've only got it done it. You've after so many attempts you've finally gotten it. I actually think so it would have uh, I think that is actually your fourth attempt at doing it. Because it, so. it starts at hard. Yeah. And it gets Jehovah's. it goes up by plus 10 each time you try it and fail. Yes. Read and write. Hell yeah. Um, so don't forget to spend the 100 XP on that as oh, well for yes, the new talent. Thank you. Cool. Um, so I will make a note that Johanna has learnt talent. Read and write. Learnt. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Use your... This is a major what was it? Hundred and... hundred XP. Cool. Uh, and it was thirteen shillings. Cool. Um, yeah. Well done. Sure All right. Um, who would like to go next? I would not mind going next. Sure. What would you like to do? Uh, so I can't get the latest news anymore. Big shame. Yeah. Big shame. But, but. As a slayer, I feel like I always need to be ready. So I'd like to indulge, if I may, into some combat training. Combat training. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. um, all right, I will get you to make a challenging test with either a melee or ranged skill. Uh, I would make it melee, if Excellent. I may. Yep, so pick whichever skill within that you want to do. So it can be your two-handed if you wish. It is, in fact, going to be my two-handed. Marvellous. All right. Uh, make a challenging test. Okay. If this fails somehow, it'll be hilarious. No, you succeed. Well done. Cool. Uh, make a note of that. You may reverse a failed test with that associated skill on your next adventure, whatever that might be. The next time we have combat. Yeah. Um, combat training. And success. Whoops, help if I would spell success the correct way. It starts with an S, <laughs> not with a C. Um, and finally, Wolfgang. What would Wolfgang like to do? Yeah, so I actually want to try and research law. Research law? Yeah, sounds good. Yep. Um, specifically, the law I want to research is about... Um, I don't quite know exactly how to phrase it, but it's like it's about. I, again, essentially, I want to research chaos. Yeah. But in a way, like how to deal with it. Like, I guess, um, Zeench in particular. Yes. Zeench and Zeench's realm and like the Crystal Maze, I suppose. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. You are literate. Or. Or. Could I research law to see if I can. F I haven't got any information about Hikers family yet, have I? No, not yet. No, okay, so I won't do that then. So I'll I'll research research law on the on the chaos and, and Z. Okay. Um. All right. So you don't already have um law chaos, do you? No. No. All right. It will be a difficult intelligence test then. Okay. Uh, 
Um, you attempt to um, do some research into the more like specific lore of the um, the realm of change and um, Zinch's um, realm and whatnot. But the uh, the books that you find um, either in the small library that is in Wolf Hall or at the much larger library at the Temple of Sigmar seem to be somewhat lacking in that field. They tend to focus on chaos as more of a, uh, the broad strokes and less yeah. on the finer detail that you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, that is that one there. You have done that. All right. If there is nothing else you guys would like to do in your two and a half days of downtime, we will cut forward. Just like training and stuff during the evenings and things like that. Yeah. But nothing special. Excellent. All right. Well, we will cut forward to the morning of your presentation to the Emperor. It is a fest tag, you know, a feast day, a festival day. So, the air is good. You feel expectant. Um, I will roll to see if we have any. Oh, your items of clothing arrived the day prior, um, oh, and they all fit perfectly. Excellent. Cheers, Graf. Uh, Alright, I shall roll uh, D100 and see if the weather is interesting. I think it might be. I think it might be. Uh, Time might... confusing. Why is this a big deal? So in, don't, don't ask that. in Altdorf, because Altdorf exists on the confluence of two rivers, um, mm. it is always foggy. It just right. depends on the time of day, the time of year, and then how foggy it gets. Right, I see. So, presently, you are in early winter, um, and it is before noon, which means that it is a success. It will be foggy today. So now we determine where the fog exists, or where it is localised. Hmm. 47. That is going to make all its way all the way out to the eerie parts of the town. Um, so the, uh, let's see, damp plats, a gas, hexabezric, Groschwarter's Luhas, great name, uh, Toschenseel, Zwillingsgrab. In Venice, that's mostly the same areas that it was localized last time, so around the river, um, but extending out into sort of where the colleges of magic are. Um, so it's, it's foggy in those areas. Uh, what type of fog have we got? Oh, it's thick. It's a thick boy. It's a perfect pea super, everyone. Ooh. Oh, awesome. That's the one where you get sick, right? No, a miasmic stew is where you get sick. Uh, a P super means that ballistic skill tests and perception tests based on sight have a neg 30 penalty if the target is more than 5 feet away. Oh, fuck. So, you sure want to hope that you're not getting into any combat whilst you make your way there. Alright. So, it, it, you are all fairly early risers, um, and you want to get to the um, Imperial Palace as early as possible because there has been, there was no official time listed on the audience. It was uh, present yourself at the Imperial Palace for an audience on this date, and that was it. Mm -hmm. So, you rise early. Uh, you, exactly, yeah, you could wait quite some time. Um, you rise early, you adorn yourself in your finery. Um, Helga has arranged for the best carriage in the stable yard to be made ready for you. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, you ride on towards uh, the Imperial Palace. Um, the fog gets thicker as you uh, reach the sort of dock areas. Um, uh, to 
almost you, you can't see basically anything oh, outside was, the windows. Sorry, I was going to do a pray again before we got on the carriage to go. Oh, by all means. Yep, go for it. Two, one, two, oh! Two, one, two, yeah, there we go. Jesus. Excellent. Uh, what prayer are we putting on? Or is it just a general, um, I'm going, I'm praying? Just a general. Just a general kind of vibe. Cool. You feel Sigmar's grace has, um, shining on yeah. you on this day. That's it. Alright, uh, you make your way into Actually, the... Uh, you know what, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for Beacon of Righteous Virtue. Actually, there on myself. On yourself? Actually. Sure. Yeah. Bloody beacon. Let's go. Yeah. So does that mean that you... Uh, what does that one do again? You are fearless? Yeah, basically. Yeah, cool. That's the one. Uh, all allies with, line, with a minor side of you um, have all broken conditions removed and gained the fearless talent. Yeah, nice. And well, I mean, you got plus seven success level, so I guess you can make that last for fucking forever. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Lovely. You are filled with Sigma's radiance and power. Oh. You'd love to see it. You um, make your way through the city. The fog gets denser and denser as you get closer to the river, um, to the point that you then can barely see, you know, five feet out of the, the windows of the carriage. Um, I'm going to boldly assume that, Leon, you are riding either at, up the front or at the back of the carriage. I guess in this situation I'd be at the front. Yep. It is a dense fog. You cannot see anything in front of you. You're constantly, you've actually had to get the driver of the carriage to slow right down so you don't just ride people down. Yep. People just appear out of the, the fog in front of you. Um, as you make your yeah, as you make your way to the foot of um, the nearest bridge, this one over here, um, the guard sergeant who has um, volunteered to drive the carriage today um, produces a a, um, a graphs writ for passage across the bridge, and the toll keepers wave you across with no fee charged. Hmm. All right, and uh, you make your way past the Grand Cathedral of Sigma to the Imperial Palace. Hell yeah, we do. Hell yeah, you do. You pull into the mighty large um, courtyard where um, an ostler comes and opens a door for you and assists. Jehenna out of the carriage um, and holds an arm out for any further who requires assistance out of the carriage. Yeah, great. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, the uh, ostler then takes command of the carriage and um, takes it over to a stabling area whilst the two guards, so Leon and the guard sergeant, form up as an honour guard for the two of you. Uh, so for the four, uh, three of you, I should say. And a uh, page appears out of the murk. Um, oh, it's not quite as foggy here, sorry. It's not too bad. And um, he says, uh, if you will kindly follow me, I will escort you to the, uh, the waiting hall. And, uh, you are led to the waiting hall. Great. Um, can I get one of you to roll for me, please, a d10? I mean, you know how lucky I am, so maybe not me. Four. Okay. All right. You will be waiting for four <laughs> hours. Oh. oh, God. All right. Um, can I get... Get seeing as Ulrich has just rolled, I'll get Johanna to roll now. Can you roll for me, please? Uh, one, two, three, four, six. 
Can you roll for me a D15? Fourteen. All right. Um, you happen to while uh, during the period of your waiting, you happen to um pace a little bit and look out some of the windows into the um massive gardens and estate that exists within the uh, the Imperial Palace. You're keeping it together. You're all right. Okay. Yeah. You just making sure I can handle it. Um, and Johanna, you spot a um, a quintet of uh, Reichland um, pistoliers riding around on the far side of the garden. Very um, cool. One of them is um, loudly boasting to um, her compatriots at her skills with the pistols. And you can hear the the crack retort of her um, her pistols as she pings uh, a, a shilling up into the sky and shoots it out of the air before it lands. How much are we expected to behave? Only you can decide how much you want to behave. Well, I think we all know how much Jehanna actually wants to behave, so. I just, I'm going to have a look around, because we've been waiting for a little while. Does it seem that anyone's kind of actively waiting for us at this point? Um, make for me a perception test. Um, average. Uh, let's see. Oh. Cool. Um, you can't see anyone looking for you at this point in time, but then you only do cast a very cursory look around. That seems I'm to be the, gonna... um, the bustle that you've come to, uh, become accustomed to of this hall. I'm just gonna pop George on my seat. Um, go just wait here for a sec, buddy. And just, you know, pat down my hoops, get to make sure my pit stools are in place. <laughs> um, and go and challenge that person, because I must. Excellent. Alright, as you get closer, you hear her loudly declare that she is, hands down, the best shot in the city. And anyone wishes to challenge her, she will put up a bet of three gold crowns that she can outshoot anyone. Just gonna check I have three gold crowns. I will say you can't put this on the graphs tab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have three gold crowns, but we're gonna leave that as a problem for future Jehanna. Um, ah, Pistolier, I see. I wouldn't mind giving you a challenge. Is that right? Um, she kind of sneers down at you on her horse. Very well. Um, are you uh, properly equipped, my lady? I'm going to reach into my hoop skirt and bring out my pistols. I would say so. Very well. Very well indeed. Well, let us come away from the, the palace proper so we've no errant bullets flying towards their imperial majesties. How considerate. And she leads you slightly further away to a more quiet corner of the yard. Um, she dismounts and uh, says, Very well, as the challenger, I um, think it is only fair that you uh, take the first shot. Very well. I shall, even, shall, pro I shall even provide the targets for you. Um, so she points to a spot on the wall opposite you. Um, probably 15 paces away. Um, there is a small, uh, a fairly small crack in the wall that is only just visible from where you are. Um, and there is a slight enlargening in the centre of it. Probably about shoulder height for you. So if you can put a shot directly into that, that'll, uh, that'll start the challenge off. All right. I'll um take take my stance and 
sight along the pistol. Now, uh, before before we do any rolling here, I just want to quickly check. Do you have any sort of talents with shooting at all? I've got pistols, and I've got gumption, and I've got <laughs> black powder bow and research. Let's see. Rapid reload, that doesn't help. Uh, you have Marksman, that gives you plus yeah. five, that's not not necessarily going to help. Dead Eye Shot, that could be useful. Um, instead of reversing the dice to determine which hit location is struck, you may instead pick. Okay, uh, I will say good. in this case then, because you have a Dead, you have dead Eye Shot, um, rather than it being a challenging test, it will be an average test. Cool. Sounds good. Alright. So, average, like, pistol Average test, black yes. powder test. Oh, black powder. Or, yeah. or with your pistols, either or. Whatever you prefer. <sighs> Will they be much the same? I think it's going to be identical. Okay. Yes. So, average. Ha! <laughs> Excellent. Your shot goes straight into the hole. Hell yeah. And uh, the pistolier says, A fine shot indeed, madam. Well done, well done. I shall attempt to do the same. And uh, she lines up a shot. I have not prepared a pistolier, but that's fine. We will just make do. Um, she will take a shot. 26. She makes it with ease. Slightly enlarging the hole that you have just made with your with your shot. Wonderful. Very well, we are both one apiece. Now, perhaps as the challenger you may select a target next. Um, alright, I'll do a, a bit of a perception check to look around then. Yep. Difficulty? Um, challenging. Nice. Nice, very good. Um, you spent spot maybe another uh, 10 15 paces away deeper into the garden there is a rather large um, apple tree and high up on one of the top branches is a rather ripe apple um, how about that apple there very well I shall take the shot as a challenge Alright, um, her shot goes clean through the arrow, uh, clean through the arrow, clean through the apple, leaving a perfectly symmetrical hole in the centre. Mm -hmm. Johanna is very problem. impressed, will applaud. Thank you, she bows theatrically. Um, and now, yourself, madam. Alright, madam will take a shot. Uh... Use your patriot bullet. Average? Average again, yep. You know what? Oh. I'm using I'm using a point on that. I'm not to be outdone. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry for whatever trouble we run into later. Ah, Excel fuck yeah. Excellent. Well done. Your shot passes through the hole in the apple that she just made. Love it. Well done, madam. Well done indeed. A fine shot you have on you. And I think, Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we shall do one final challenge. If you can pass this challenge, I will award you the three gold crowns and call you, at the very best, my equal in the city. Oh, I'll take it. Um, let's, let's go. And uh, she casts her eye around and she says, Well, why, why don't we try the challenge that I was boasting at before? I shall flick a coin into the air and see if you can shoot it from the air. <laughs> All right. I shall provide the coin. Ah, thank you. So she takes out a silver shilling, shows it to you. It is a perfectly normal silver shilling, and right. um, she flicks it up into the air. Who are we gonna shoot? Alrighty. Come on, pistols. Yes! Your shot catches 
the a silver shilling, and it pings off over the wall. Hell yeah! I've and never been so happy to lose money in my life. The pistolia <laughs> and her um her fellow um gar- uh, Reich's pistol uh, Reich, Reich's pistols all applaud you. Well done, Adam. Well done indeed. A fine shot. A fine shot. Ah, and the same to you. Excellent shooting, I must and, um, say. And she then produces another coin and asks you to, to do the same, to flick the coin up into the air for her. Are you going to use your um your magic hand? Your, uh, your fun prosthetic hand? Absolutely I am. Absolutely I am. Alright, I will say that if you're going to use your prosthetic hand... Did I... I'm trying to remember what fun business I put into your prosthetic uh, hand. Let me take a Definitely has some fun business. Prosthetic hand. Uh, intricate human payment. Yeah, all right. It's got the the Wolfrung rune, which is for money. So I reckon that money in your hand works better for you. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm gonna say that when you do this, she's going to have a slight disadvantage because maybe it's got a faster spin than she's expecting. Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. you flick it up, and she will make the shot. Oh. However, she has rolled exceptionally well. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> so, despite the ultra-fast spin on it, she sights it and shoots it, and another shilling flies over the wall. And I've just, I've just got to applaud that. Because yes. that's pretty awesome. All of the pistoliers and you your, your, your all applaud. And she says, Madam, I have not seen as good a shot as myself in many years. I, I commend you on your performance today. Oh, I'm happy to be thought of as as good a shot as you. Excellent. Well done, well done. my magic hand to shake. <laughs> she gives you a firm handshake, looking at your hand, sort of, you know, intriguing, intriguing. Um, and then she reaches into her purse and gives you three gold crowns. Ooh. I'll accept them with a, a polite nod of a bow. Yep. Um, and uh, she says, "I bid you good day and Sigmar's blessings." And she goes back oh, to her. Same um, to you. She goes back to her fellow Reich's pistoliers. And um, do you go back to the waiting hall? I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> Your th- three gold the, the richer. Well done. I'm having just a great day. All around. All right. Um, Leon, can you roll for me a d15, please? Yes, I can. Nine. Nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Excellent. This feels appropriate. Um... You have taken it upon yourself to, um, seeing as the sergeant is there and he has given you the nod of approval, to sort of walk the um, the grounds somewhat whilst you wait. I'm just trying to get some fresh air. I've got so many freaking layers on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a gambeson, a leather jerkin, male coif, a oh. uh, breastplate helmet yeah you're, I'm you're like you're, sweat. you're the a knot. sweaty boy <laughs> yeah and it's been like hours yeah um <laughs> you're just damp and you know uh, Jehenna obviously you witnessed Jehenna go out and do some fine shooting um so whilst you're out there and taking you know a, a breath of I'll, I'll use fresh in inverted commas yeah. Alt- Altdorf is um is commonly re- drink at the same time. Yeah, so, Oldorf is quite commonly <laughs> referred to as the Great Reek, so it's probably, <laughs> it's probably not the freshest of theirs. Um, you um, spy, or you hear, first off, the sound of um, swords clashing, and it piques your interest. Yeah, I uh, definitely head in that direction. You round a corner, and you find two individuals um, fencing. I uh, first, doing... like, initially go around the corner expecting, like, I need to fight. And yep. then when I see that, I am at ease. Um, if it looks like they're, like, training or yeah. or dueling, but it's not, like, an actual... Even if it's a duel to the death, I don't have to get involved. That's fine. Exactly. So you, um... 
you see it's quite clearly a um, a master trainer and his student who are um, doing a practice bout. Um, there are a number of um, Reich's guards standing around the uh, training circle who um, nod to you as you approach. Uh, I nod back. Um, back straight. And uh, the um, the tutor says, Higher, your majesty, higher. You must block higher. Oh. And um, the uh, young um, uh, trainee, or tutee, uh, I don't know, the person being trained. The apprentice. <laughs> um, the apprentice. He, uh, the sort of um, corrects his footwork and starts blocking higher for the, um, the blows that the... Uh, the master is is laying on him, and um, the uh, they um, finish one round and backs off. And the the master says, "Now, you must press the attack first. On guard, sir." And the young uh, 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 the young so uh, swordsman launches an attack and um, is immediately disarmed. And the swordsmaster circles his uh, his foil around and whips the um, the sword out of the apprentice's hand, and it skitters to uh, your feet, Leon. Uh, I will look at the guard next to me and reach down and pick it up. The guards um, um, give you a cautious eye, but they don't stop you. Um, as I heard him say, Your Majesty, before, I'll, uh, reach out towards the young, uh, boy, younger person and say, I, Your Majesty, you'll bleed. Thank you, uh, thank you, soldier. Uh, I don't, um, that is not a, a Reichland accent. You, uh, you from the, the north of, of the Empire, are you? Yes, I am from uh, Middenland. Ah. Here guarding some uh, dig dignitaries, is that the right word? Yes. Ah, ah, yes. Of course, I have heard about these uh, these heroes of, uh, of Middenheim. Um, I was hoping that my father would allow me to uh, be present for this meeting this afternoon, but um, unfortunately... He has seen that I should keep up with my studies instead. Um, uh, I'm going to say, even though you're not from here, given the the context that he, you have now been provided with, you will have peace enough together to understand that this is Prince Luitpold. The I do have, like, etiquette for nobles yep. as well. Um, so you would know that this is Prince Luitpold, who is the... Heir apparent. I, uh, if it was in within my power, I would introduce you now. But uh, it is not something I am capable of. I am afraid. I would not want to cross your father. But uh, perhaps a feint next time might serve you well. And uh, he takes the sword from your hand and uh, salutes you with with the blade. I salute back with my hand. Excellent. And uh, he says, Ulrich's blessing upon you, soldier. Well, thank you. Sigmar upon you. And uh, with that, he goes back to his fencing practice. And... You uh, can watch more. I look more. at the guard next to me, and I just like sweat pours yeah. down my face. The the two right guards <laughs> who are nearest to you both just sort of just nod with a like, well handled, good job. <laughs> and I'll uh, say under my breath, I need a beer. <laughs> the whole uh, back away and then turn. I might like uh, pivot on my feet and then walk off. Cool. All right. Um, I reckon we probably have time to do one more before you get in, so let's go with... Uh, uh, 
Ulrich, roll for me a d15. He's definitely restless. Uh, yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. This one is actually about dwarves. How brilliant is that? Excellent. That's how we want. Right, okay, so. Um, you have become quite bored. <laughs> unsurprisingly. <laughs> unsurprisingly. And you have taken to pacing and um, sc scratching at this rough that you've got on. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I said it would cling to the hair. <laughs> when, um... Yeah, your hearing's not the greatest, but I reckon you, this would still catch your ear, regardless. Mm -hmm. You hear, um... What sounds like a fairly heated argument in Kazalid. Ooh. Um, and it gets louder as the two dwarves in question approach. I will, uh... Listen closely, as it's, you know, in my nature as a slayer to kill big monsters. Yes. Regardless <laughs> of the sort they may be. Um, so you overhear these two dwarves. You can't catch who they are, but they are clearly ambassadors of sorts from various different dwarven holds. Mm -hmm. um, just you put that together from context. Um, one of them is insisting to the other that the Emperor is not doing anything to assist the Dwarf High King in restoring the Everlasting Realm to its former glory. Mm. Um, the other then retorts, saying, you know, uh, listing off a number of times that the Empire has aided Dwarves, and each time he lists one, the Dwarf insisting that the Empire is not doing enough sort of just waves them away as if they're, you know, trivial. Yeah. Um... The rest of you, I think, will also have heard this, and you wouldn't understand it unless... Does Wolfgang understand Kazalid? No. no. I didn't no. think so. <clears throat> um, but regardless, you know, it's, it's a heated conversation that you can hear, regardless of whether you can understand it or not, so you all appear to be watching them with some interest. Um... And when the dwarves sort of pass you and realise that you're looking at them, they kind of quiet it up a bit. Until one of them spots Ulrich and then says to you in Kazalid, Hello there, fellow dwarf. Where are you healing from? Hey, hey. How are you, dwarves? Um, and I continue scratching my ruff and I go, Hey, I heal. From, uh, is Altdorf to the north of... The mountains that I come from, which yes. were... Yep. You were from the that... Grey Mountains. You are from Karak Asgaraz? Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, sounds familiar. Sounds about right, yeah. Hey, I hail from the south, Karak Asgaraz. Hey. Ah. Uh, I couldn't but help but overhear that you two were discussing the Emperor. Indeed we were, laddie. Indeed we were. Karak Asgaraz, you say. Intriguing. Hey, hey, you know, the Emperor, he's not, you know, you know, and I, I cock my head a bit with a little wink and I said, you know, he's not around, you know, you know what I'm saying? He's not around, what What do you mean, laddie? Says one of them. And I just lean in real fucking close, <laughs> like real fucking close, and I'm like, hey, lad, the Emperor, he's, he's not here anymore, laddie, didn't you know? Emperor, let's just say the Emperor's lying six feet under, and he's been replaced, bloody. Oh my god. And I, I give a wink. You know, Jeez. they say it was uh, Manfred von Karstein trying oh to get the crown god. of Nagash, eh? And I, I tap my nose. Yes, good as, eh? That's where I hail from, bloody. Hey, hey. The. Two dwarves look at each other with raised eyebrows <laughs> and then look back at you and they both frown and say, I think you may have been hitting the air a little too early, laddie. The Emperor is fine and well. He's in, of uh, good health. 
Oh, is it now? Oh, is it? Hey, you ever seen the, the Emperor in person, Wadi? Or have you only heard about him? As I give another tap on the nose. Oh my god, we're um, getting arrested for conspiracy theories. Uh, both of them say, I, I've spent many time, uh, many a time with the Emperor. <laughs> I sit, or both of us sit on various councils with the Emperor. Bloody. Hey, interesting. Oh interesting. my god. May I ask, have you ever, I don't know, touched him or, or, or shook his hand any time recently? Did you feel warmth in his hands that was not, you know, magically imparted there, laddies? I scratch my rough again. I mean, it has been four hours. <laughs> Um, they are now starting to back away from you a little bit. Um, uh, the usual reaction. The, the, the normal reaction. Um, mm. and, uh, they're like, I, uh, I have, in fact, shaken hands with the Emperor, I. Hey. He's, he's a manling. Can I... Is there, like, some intuition thing I can feel out to see if he's lying to me? Uh, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be insight. Insight, insight, insight. Where is insight? Oh no, uh, it's intuition, I think, sorry. I think it actually is intuition. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh boy. Yeah, can I try and figure out if he's lying to me? Because sure. Ulrich, of course, fully believes that the Emperor is dead. Yeah, um, I'm going to say, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the power of your belief, this is actually going to be um, uh, an easier test. You are, you are convinced. So I'm going to say this is going to be average. Okay. Average intuition, here we go. Yep. My intuition is pretty low. <laughs> All right. Incredible. You are convinced that they believe they are telling the truth. Huh. However, because that truth does not gel with your belief of the truth, Indeed. you are just your brain refuses to accept what they have to say. Mm. Hmm. Well, perhaps maybe both of you have been bruised, if you know what I'm saying, laddie. You know, look, I'm not saying that either of us are crazy, but don't you think it's a little strange the way that, you know, we always hear about the Emperor, but we never see him that frequently, you know, maybe here and there, but we never quite know where he's been or where he's going, you know. No one really knows what he's done in his spare time. I mean, do we even know where the man sleeps, laddie? Does he sleep? As I, ray an eye, as I raise an eyebrow, as high as it can go. Um, the dwarves look at each other and go, Aye, aye, he sleeps in the... How is this guy talking about? In the Imperial yeah. Palace, laddie. He's got a, a, a residence oh, that he sleeps in. Hey, how convenient, laddie! <laughs> well, well, son, is Ulrich all right? It seems like He's very mistaken. Uh, you wouldn't have a clue what he's saying, because he's saying all this in Kazalid. Oh, okay, mm. never mind then. We can just watch them. You're watch watching them. these dwarves get very confused and are sort of backing away from whatever Ulrich is saying, but you have no idea what yeah, he's yeah, saying. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. Probably I'm just, just as well. If they're talking in Kazalid, I'm like not even paying attention. Yeah. We're just... I'm too busy being smug over the fact that I shot really well and didn't shoot anyone's hand off. Hey, lads, look, we all know it's true, don't we? I mean, the, it all, the evidence just keeps stacking up, doesn't it? You know? <laughs> um, by this point, they have backed away enough from you that they just ignore you and, can, and continue their conversation in a much more subdued fashion with uh, the occasional glance over their shoulders at you. <laughs> I'll... I'll just, like, brush them away and be like, Hey, alright, if I live in your ignorance, lads. Yeah. 
All right. Well, we actually didn't even do the encounter that you planned for, did we? What? Uh, no, we've not even got there yet. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 this, this, this is just filler. Oh, okay. All right. I'm loving it. That's great. All right. So, uh, after waiting for four hours, a um, a page approaches you and says. Uh, if you would follow me, the Emperor is ready for you now. Awesome. It's all Alright, so... You, um... Stand up, you know, brush down tunics and, and jackets and whatnot, and make sure that you're all crease-free, and... Uh, you uh, continue scratching at your ruff, but make sure that it is, in fact, sitting correctly. <laughs> and you are... As I can. Yep. Take a good drink. You um, are led through into an audience chamber. It's a big. Well, it's a it's a big audience chamber, right? I'm sure you can imagine what one looks like. Big columns. Um, on the ceiling there are sort of frescoes of Sigmar's um, life. You know, his, uh, his saving of the, high, uh, the Dwarf High King, fighting Greenskins, um, being crowned Emperor, his disappearance. Um, uh, standing in front of the columns on the way down is a Reichsguard Knight. And seated on the throne is Emperor Karl Franz himself. Mm-hmm. And on either side of him stand two individuals. One um, who you would recognise from um, his garb, at the very least, if not from um, other, you know, uh, posters of uh, you know paintings and posters of his um, his appearance as um, High Reichsmarshal Kurt Helborg and. Sick. The gentleman on his right is wearing a rather large hat and is wearing big wizard's robes and has a staff and a sword and um, you take him to be the Supreme Patriarch Thyrus Gorman. Um, Would I recognise that or should I make a lore test to see if I recognise him specifically? Um, Sure. Yep. I'll say it will be... He's... Only recently uh, taken over the position of Supreme Patriarch, so I will say this will be a challenging test. What was it? Theology? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, these are all paintings. They're not actually there. No, no, they're there. They are there. Oh, fuck! The Emperor's there! The Emperor is there. Whoa. We have a perfect opportunity to kill a lich! <laughs> no, do not, <laughs> do not ruin my day. Ulrich has finally found his true calling. The Slayer Oath compels him. Uh, we'll he's find out. Oh, is Ben still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry. Um, okay. I was just yeah. taking a swig of water. Um, yeah. The other person present, who I had forgotten was also there, um, standing one step down and slightly in front of the Emperor is the Emperor's Champion, um, whose name I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to quickly look it up. It will be... um... This is fucking crazy. These are heavy hitters, man. Are you... No, you're not hit. Are you an advisor, maybe? Boom. Uh, yes, the Empress Champion, uh, who is uh, Ludwig Schwarzhelm. Nice. Um, close personal friend of the Emperor himself. So, uh, you are led forward by the page, who very quietly instructs you to bow and curtsy when you um, reach the appropriate spot. I do so. 
Excellent. I'm not going to make you roll for that. I think you've had enough practice at bowing and um, curtsying for uh, for an ability. I, uh, can I make sure I always keep one eye on, on the Emperor? Just, just, you know, just in case. Sure. No problem. No problem. Um... All right, let me get I let me get my emperor voice ready. I have actually prepped an emperor voice. <clears throat> <laughs> mm. Did anyone announce our or their entrance? Um, you I I would assume there would have been, but this is a pretty big moment, so you probably just faded it out. Okay, I just put them like. Yeah, should I do it? But if I heard like a, a call, like a cry or whatever, say something as we went in, then you gotta do that. Yep. Um, yeah, there would have been someone who would have announced you as you came in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, like I guess when we get to the end, um, Sergeant and I like will go to the sides. Yep. I'm assuming and stand to attention. Yeah. All right, um, the emperor. <clears throat> Welcome, heroes of Middenheim. Thank you for taking the time to uh, come to Altdorf. I understand it is quite a journey from Middenheim. It's been many years since I have travelled to the northern. Uh, cities. Is he expecting a response? I mean, not that I'm gonna say anything. Um, there is sort of an awkward pause after that. You feel like maybe something should be said there. That might be, that might be, but like, I don't, I don't know the etiquette to speak in front of him. Um, is he a majesty? I, d I wouldn't know, would I? Uh, you wouldn't know. Um, they, your majesty, they were, oh, sorry, your majesty, they were pleasant company. It made the trip go well. And I like, look at Wolfgang. Because I assume he's the most <laughs> closest person to know what to do in this situation. Yeah. Uh, Help. I'm not, I'm only doing it because I I know somebody should respond and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like, you're, you're not, so, because it's not really my place great, to say anything. No, no, that's right. Um, is, uh, it, we are beyond honoured to be in your presence, great majesty. Companions and I. I've travelled long, but it is good to be here in the heartland of your glorious empire. Just go back to kind of like bowing and scraping. Yeah. If I could put like inside square brackets, heavy breathing intensifies. <laughs> <that's where I'm laughs> <at. laughs> oh no. All right. You have done, your empire, a grave service by slaying the Lich, Babrikos. I have heard a report of this from Graf Todbringer, and may I say, well done, well done indeed. You have served your empire. We are barely worthy of your praise as humble subjects. Kurt Helborg at this point um, takes a, a half step forward and says I would like a uh, recounting in your own words as to how you vanquished so mighty a foe. Um, and then I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. Yep. I won't expect you to relay that. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Give me a... Do you have an entertained storytelling? I think I do, actually. I think you might do. Um, yeah, you. I have it, 
as well, and I think it comes from. I've got speeches. Entertained speeches? Yeah. That'll do. Um, make an average entertained speeches test. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> you give a um, grounded yet thematic retelling of um, your fight against Babrakos, starting from when you first met the remainder of the party and right the way through to um, vanquishing the, uh, the first evil. Mm -hmm. Kurt Helborg has been sort of nodding. Even um, the Empress Champion has nodded a few times. Um, and uh, seeming satisfied, Helborg steps back. Uh, and this time, Thyrus steps forward a half step and says, And uh, I understand that uh, the wizard of your party and uh, her apprentice fell during this encounter, is that so? Tragically, yes. Uh, myself and Heike and her apprentice, uh, whose name was... Oswald. Oswald. Oswald, that's right. I was going to say Oz something or that. Um, we were all uh, cursed and blasted into the crystal maze by the profane magics of the foul lich. Um, and while I later emerged, um, Hiker and, and her, her consort are lost to us. Um, and uh, Thyrus sort of nods and said, yes, I have uh, read the report from the Grey College as to the uh, demise of um, Hiker and her apprentice. Uh, we have made uh, plans to honour her and, and her apprentice by uh, naming um, a wing of the Grey College and a wing of the Apprentice Hall after the two of them. That is, that is very gracious and she would be glad to hear that had happened. And uh, Thyrus nods and steps back and <laughs> the Emperor says um, as you have done so um singular a service to the Empire and to Middenheim. I understand that the Graf has rewarded you handsomely for your efforts. Yes, that is true. I, uh... I wish to also provide... A, um, a boon, if you will. I have acquired a, um, a small plot of land on the outskirts of um, Altdorf that uh, has recently been lost from uh, uh, its uh, noble patronage. And I wish to bequeath that patronage uh, to yourselves. Thank you, Your Majesty. Can I? Uh, no, you may not. At, at this point, at the <laughs> top of there. my lungs, just yell, Hey, we've been had! And just point at the Emperor. I'm just gonna grab you very firmly about the shoulders and say do excuse us and just tow you nah, as, I can't as, tow it and just no try longer. and shove my hand over your mouth and just try and tow you out of the audience room whispering um, very fiercely you are not going to ruin home ownership for me <laughs> understand what you're I doing. will feed you your beard Jehenna, can you Jenna. make for me please a strength test? Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an opposed strength test. Just raw strength. Uh, just a raw strength test. Okay. All right. Uh, challenging or? Challenging. Yep. 
I am sorry, your majesty. He is quite uh, perturbed from the events. I am led to believe. The events of Beprikos. Fortune missed. Oh, you bastard. Here we go. Here we go. Can I get George to help me? Uh, no, you, no, you cannot. You don't need it. Alright, um, you struggle, but you do manage to drag Ulrich out of the audience chamber. Oh, thank God. Before he uh, creates more of a scene. Um, I will require you to make further strength tests to see if you can keep him out there, but we'll get we'll come back to that. Um Alright. Uh, uh, <clears throat> your your Imperial Majesty is is beyond generous to to offer us such a boon. Even just your just your your presence and praise should be enough for our and the knowledge that we have done something great for the Empire. Please, I would be honoured if you would accept. This land requires a firm hand, and I feel that there are no firmer hands present than your own. I, uh, I wish not to grant this land to any of the uh, nobility here in uh, Altdorf. They, uh, they bicker and squabble. I think having um, fresh blood, if you will, is an excellent uh, idea. There are nods of assent from both Kurt Helborg and Cyrus Gorman. They both sort of nod and nod at you as in the sort of like Accept it. Don't, don't, don't be daft. I'm also doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, actually, who else is here, right? Because the other two have just been dragged out because the dwarf's being here. It's literally just um, you. It's you and so, uh, Leon and then, the other scar. Uh, of course, I, I, and then I accept this. This incredible honor on behalf of my traveling companions and my, and and I. Very well. Um, and uh, the emperor pulls out a um a bound parchment scroll, which he passes to the emperor's champion, who takes the two steps down from the dais and hands to you the deed to. A manor house and its um, attached lands. Oh, hell. We bought it. Hereby, your names will be entered into the registry of nobility. Oh, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> and, um, you may. Add the von um, ad, uh, uh, prefix to your uh, your surnames as you choose. The land is situated two hours north of Altdorf. I have not been there myself, but I have been told it is quite quaint. A small farm, attached, small orchard. It will provide... A meager income. Um, we're gonna cut back to Jehenna and um, <laughs> Ulrich outside. I don't understand what you're doing, Bossy! Ian, what are you trying to do? You cannot yell at the Emperor! Um, the Emperor in there. That's a monster! Yeah, and do you think that even if it was. You'd be able to do anything with all those guards. I you not I thinking. do. They no. just need to see the lack of whites in his eyes to realise the monster us. that it is. You will get us all killed, and I won't own a house, and I like neither of those things. <laughs> okay, right. 
both to do um, uh, strength. Uh, we'll be on a post strength test again, please. <laughs> Challenging. Challenging again. No yep. Doubt. I am <laughs> going to spend a fortune. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Well, maybe I'll spend a fortune. Ooh. Yeah, challenging. Come on. Give me something. <laughs> oh, my. Well, it's better than... Oh! All right. Can I get George to grab him? Uh, <laughs> well, it didn't work last time. I... Sure. Give it a go. Um, George, what, what do or, I roll for a... George is going to have to roll a strength test and somehow do better than a, a marginal failure. Look, we're just going to give it a go. We're, we're just going to give it a go and see what happens. Oh my god. I swear to god, if you, like, TPK us. Alright. <laughs> Ulrich, oh you god. brush Gehenna aside, and you, <laughs> you storm back into the audience hall, bellowing at the top of your voice. I'll move to Brothers, do you not see the feed before you're ready? Come, Tyrus! Come, Ludwig! I brandish my axe and run head first towards the other. Oh my fucking Sorry. god! Sorry. I, I have moved to intercept. Excellent. Um, guys, mm -hmm. let's let's roll for some initiative, shall we? Oh my god. Um, please drag yourself out onto the board. Let's um let's go. What board? Just onto the tabletop here, oh, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. Let me clear this. Oh. And cool. Alright. I shall drag out some some characters. Oh good. Strong start. That's not his name, but it is now, apparently. Strong start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh... So I'm just... I don't have an image. No, it's fine. Hang on a minute. My thing is just being dumb. Annoyingly, they're all saying one, but I will work it out. Who else do I require? At the very least, the Emperor's Champion. I don't think I'll bother with the Emperor himself. That might be a bit much. He's not going to cause Griffin in here and eat us? No. Oh, I haven't got any stats for the Emperor's Champion. Don't worry, I won't make the Emperor's Champion fight, because I can't be bothered doing stats for him. <laughs> That's pretty arrogant to think that he's safe from me, a single Dwarf Slayer. Uh, Steph, have you rolled initiative? Uh, no, I don't think I have actually, sorry. Don't forget to select your token first. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Get selected. Cool. Alright. Descending order. Alright, uh, the closest Reichsguard knight to Ulrich will attempt to bar his way, um, and he will, uh, he won't attack you with his lance, because that is not what he has, obviously. He will attempt to attack you with his sword. Okay. Where is my great axe? 
Strong start. Strong start. Jehenna, you're up. What are you doing? I'm gonna try and grab him. Because as much of an ass as he's being... Oh, actually, I could get him with my whip, I suppose. Ulrich? Try and tangle him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Make for me uh, a ranged whip attack. Or ranged entangling, I think it is, technically. Or just roll for your whip. Yeah. Whip. Yep, challenging. Yep. yep. Uh, I just tangle myself and I fall. Cool. Uh, That's what happened. You forget that you're wearing a massive puffy dress and you just like whip your dress. Yeah. Um, roll for me, please, AD100. Oh, God. Ninety nine. Oof. Oof. Um, all right, you completely messed this up, and you hit a random ally in range. Oh um, my god! Cool. Uh, so Leon has attempted to uh, has moved to intercept. So you hit Leon instead. I'm so sorry. Oh. So do I get a defensive roll? Uh, it is a ranged weapon, so no, you do not. Oh, I don't have my shield on me. So it is uh, a nine is the SL of the hit because you use the units die. Um, body. Uh, so it will go into the body. Um, yep. So it will be nine. Eight. What? Uh, six plus nine. So 15, 15 damage. So I take six damage. Cool. Holy I fuck. Have I have four toughness, and currently on my body I have five armor because they gave oh me a breastplate as well. I'm um, just not gonna do anything. And uh, you are entangled. Ah. Oh. See why? <laughs> cool. Um, Rax guard number Shit. two is going to approach uh, Ulrich as well. That's History next... will remember his sedition. Hex next nearest, <laughs> and she'll strike. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. I'm going to try and pummel him out of the way. Well done, you succeed. You um, defend yourself. Uh, that's an advantage right there. That is an advantage right there. Uh, the next one down the line will... Uh, will have a crack. Um, this time he is going to... Let's see. I think. What has Wolfgang done? Have you moved? Did you move to try and intercept Ulrich as well? Um, I think he's still just. I think to be honest, I'm a bit startled. Yep. But I would be the closest, probably, of of our party to the Emperor at this stage. Right. Well, this Reichsguard is. I would probably... have been. I would have been turning around to look at Ulrich. Though. Ulrich, yep. though. Like I've been. I've been. I've been like distracted by them. Like, I'm not looking at the Emperor or anything. No. Alright, well, with that in mind, this Reichsguard is probably the closest to you, and yep. as you are a party member of the person who has tried to assault the Emperor, he will strike out at you. Um, but he is okay. attempting to pull his blows, he's not trying to strike you down. Oh, okay. Yep. Um... Dodging, yeah. All right. Um, I'm not really paying attention, right? Like he's his. Um... Yep. Yeah. He... All right. Roll for me a D100 then. Forty-four. Um. You, your, your dodge um, twists you out of position, and so your next action will suffer a neg 10 penalty. Sure. Um, and uh, you're up. Yeah. Um, where is Elric at this point? So he is probably about 30 paces in front of you, um, running towards you as quickly as, he, as his tiny little legs can manage. Yeah. He's in 
base contact with like one of the Reich's not Reichland knights are tying him up at the moment. Yeah, right? there's two Reich Scar uh, Reich's guard knights who are, have tied him up in combat currently. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna like sort of stay where I am and kind of like brace, ready to try and guard the emperor and catch him slash tackle him. Like I'm not gonna go into like wade into the fight. Yep. But like I'm not even gonna turn around and look at the guy who's just swung at me. I'm looking just at Ulrich and like turning around like properly, like facing completely away from the emperor, looking straight at Ulrich, and like hands up, ready to go, ready to guard. Yep. Ready to t like a like a rugby tackle, you know, like a the back line of the rugby like I'm, I'm yeah okay um yeah I don't believe there is a, a ready in action type thing so I think what we'll say is that when you do a, when Ulrich gets near you you can make a reaction to make a grapple test sure I think that seemed appropriate yeah that's cool thanks alright uh, the next Reichsguard knight is going to um Seeing that Leon went to go and stop Ulrich, he will not strike out at Leon, but he will uh, move towards um, Ulrich. He won't make it the full distance because he is um, for, uh, like too far away from, from Ulrich. So he will get close but not into combat with you. Ulrich, you are up. Did um, I just entangle lose my go? Sorry? Does entangle mean I don't get a go? Entangle means you need to make an opposed strength test to see if you break free of the entanglement. I think you still get a move, but that counts as your action. Oh no, because Ulrich's before me, that's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I won, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Never mind. So I don't care about the guards. Like, they're fine. They're just like, ignorant, innocent bystanders in this whole conspiracy that I've concocted uh... in my mind. Mm-hmm. So can I just run straight fucking past them? Yep. Just beeline it to the Emperor. That's fine. Um, you may spend your advantage to um, disengage and just run straight past them. Boom. Cool. Um, you will get within striking distance of Wolfgang. So Wolfgang, you may make an, yep. a, um, a grapple test. Cool. Which is... Is that um, athletics? Or is that melee basic? Let or? me check what grapple is. I don't think I've, we've encountered this one before. Combat grappling. Uh, da, 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 it is if you win the opposed test. Right, so it counts as a normal um, melee test, so it will be an opposed okay. one. If you yep. win it, you yep. are considered to be grappling, and Ulrich will gain a entangled condition. Okay. So just melee basic. Melee basic. Yep. Um, Ulrich will need to use the same or dodge to defend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my point of thing. Yep. Excellent. I wanna do the very basic. Um, tell you what, I'll make it easier for you. If you are that focused on it, it will just be dodge. There you go. You can only use dodge. Oh fuck. God damn. Okay, well, I've gone from 73 melee basic down to 27 dodge. Let's so. go. Let's go. Oh, it's probably physically impossible. You yeah. are grappled. Okay. Get so you will gain you. an entangled condition. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Alex, you have won, so you may yeah. choose to do the following. Okay. You can deal strength bonus plus SL damage. Um, yep. to the hit location affected and ignore armor points. Um, or you may give him an additional entangled condition. My, my idea was kind of, yeah, like rugby tackling basically is kind of the idea. So... Ground and pound. Yeah. yeah. Or you're just like you're pinning him to the ground. Yeah, is that a pinning him to the ground? So I guess an additional entangled thing. Like, so it's kind of like I... Brace myself, he runs, tries to dodge past, I launch myself at him. We both collapse to the ground, I have ended up on top, and I'm trying to sort of pin him down. Great. Alright, I'm going to pop that out so I can see. You, good sir, are going to have two entangled conditions. So let me see if I've 
got my tokens set up correctly. Uh, yep, you are restrained. There we go. I've set up new condition tokens that actually kind of <laughs> vaguely look right. Um, right, so you are entangled. Uh, Leon is also entangled, so I need to put that on you as well. Cool. Alright, uh, that is all that you get to do, Ulrich. Mm -hmm. It is Leon's go. Leon, you are entangled. So, mm -hmm. how this works. You may not move, and all of your actions involving movement of any kind suffer a neg 10 penalty. As your action, you can remove an entangled condition if you win an imposed strength test. So, you just have to do an opposed strength test against Johanna, basically. Because it's Johanna's whip that's entangled you. But why would you do this? I'm so sorry, I wasn't aiming for you. I that know. was a really bad throw. Steph, you'll also need to do a strength test here. Uh, strength test. Yeah. I would say it's not possible to do worse than what Leon has just done, but... Please don't say that, because I will. I hope you do. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Oh. Alright. Can I just choose to untangle him? Is that something I can do? Um... I don't think... Can he... I let go of the whip? Like... <laughs> um, he'll still be entangled by the whip, though, is the issue, so... Uh, but then uh, I I'll be able to just take it off on my turn, because there won't be... Yeah, because there's no yeah. pulling on it. It's All just right, a... um, that's fine. So I will say, Jenna, you still win the opposed test, so Leon, you remain entangled. But Jehanna, seeing that Leon was not able to free himself, you release your hold of the whip. So next turn... Um, you can just... The the whip will drop to the floor, basically, as soon as your handle lets go of it. So, yes. you will be able to move freely next turn. So, your entangled condition will go at the start of the next round, which is now. Um, so, the first Reichsguard will um, attempt to uh, run up and attack... Um, Ulrich, who is currently on the ground, being pinned by Wolfgang. He is, again, trying to pull his blows, so he is sort of attempting to slap you with sort of the flat of his blade rather than um, with the edge. He's trying to sort of knock you unconscious, if anything. Um, that should actually have um, plus... Uh, do you count for outnumbering purposes, Ulrich? Do you count as multiple people, or are you just one person? Uh, not hard, is it? No, I think combat master. Or that's combat like master. I think I think you've got that, don't you, Alex? I've got that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't got anything to do with. All right. It. Technically, that'll be um uh, a neg one. It would be plus twenty because he'd be outnumbering you two to one. I in this instance, I'm saying that Wolfgang is an opponent. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I am, really. I'm, I'm, yeah, you have... Uh, so you'll yeah. be outnumbering him 2-1. to one. Um, So that still fails, unless you... Um, as an entangled person, you will need to make a dodge test? Uh, any action? I guess you could attempt to do a, a melee test to, to parry it, but it will be at neg 10. Who's this? Uh, Nick. What? You can attempt to block this. Like, I know he's technically failed, but he's still he's still attacking you, so it's an opposed test. Gains it's just an advantage been... if you mm -hmm. win. That's true. I would not mind doing that. Can I use my axe to block it? Given my sure, but what I'm saying is it'll be neg 10, so it'll be, a yeah, diff yeah. it'll be difficult. Yeah. No, let's do it. Give it a go. Great. Now look, 
I'm not saying that fate is on the side of those who are right. But... <laughs> um, you gain a point of advantage as you block his blow. Beautiful. Cool. Uh, Johanna, you're up. Um, I'm kind of scared to do anything. Can I run forward and try and grab his ankles? Sure. Okay. Um, what do I roll for that? It will be an opposed strength test, but you are outnumbering him, so it will be uh, a easy strength test versus okay. Ulrich having to make a difficult um, strength test. Okay. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. What a vision, me sliding across the skirt. Uh, difficult. Difficult. Now, look. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, you continue to restrain him. Uh, I will say that you gain... An additional entangle condition, Ulrich. So you now have three entangle conditions. So entangled. Um, all right. One of the other knights is going to attempt to do the same thing. They're going to attempt to bap at you with um, the pommel of their sword to try and knock you unconscious. Um, ooh, it actually won't be challenging. They are currently outnumber you three to one, so it will in fact be easy. Whoa! What happened there? Roll 20 just bugged out. Oh no. Come back. There we go. That was weird. Um, right, easy. I block with the great axe. You can attempt it, it will be difficult. But, but, I am single minded. You I'm are. I'm focused. You are single minded. <laughs> oh my fuck. All right, another one comes in, uh, and will uh, actually this one will instead. He is going to um, come around and um, position himself in front of the emperor to protect against any further um, further things. Wolfgang, you're up. All right. Um, is it insight? Would be something. Are you trying to um, guess Ulrich's intentions? I'm trying to guess Ulrich's intentions slash work out whether Ulrich is the um, the chaos like traitor that's that's that I think is onto us. Sure. Um, yeah. Or, or whether whether that's what I whether that's the conclusion I draw or not. I think insight is uh, suitable. Yeah. Or intuition rather. Yes, that's the one. Intu intuition. And what kind of is it? Difficult, average, easy, challenging. Let's go with just straight challenging. Okay. Cool. A nice flat zero. What does that mean? I think what you think in this instance yeah. is that Ulrich has, for some reason, become bereft of his senses. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I have no doubt that at some point during your travels he has attempted to regale you with this notion that he believes that the Emperor is a lich. And you've yeah, laughed it off as like, oh, he's heard some silly rumour yeah. and like, yeah. surely he's not serious. But now yeah. you're like, okay, maybe he is actually a lot th thicker than I yeah. originally thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Alright. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for like a, an arm bar and try and choke him out, knock him unconscious, like yep. a sleeper hole or something, like as a melee attack, I guess. Yep. Like, um, tackle. We'll go, yeah, so it'll be a standard melee attack. Yeah. Um, do you have melee brawling? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so just melee basic then, that's fine. Sure. Um, you have a Is point of advantage, average? by the way, because you, um, right. you did successfully get the thing off. It's actually going to be easy because you um, outnumber him. Like four to yeah, one currently. There's a all game. I honestly did not think that this was where things were going this eve. Excellent. Um, do I need to do melee basic? Uh, I will say yes, melee basic. Okay. Difficult. And it's difficult. Excellent. Damn, Damn it. Um, that is. Two 
what's your strength bonus, Alex? Four, I assume? Four, yeah. Cool. Uh, that's six damage ignoring armor. Mm -hmm. Not that Walric was wearing any. Yep. So you take six points of damage. So I take one point of damage. Excellent. Uh, you lose all your advantage, obviously. Yep. Um, Wolfgang, you gain another point of advantage. Yep. Uh, Everyone the... loves an underdog story. <laughs> <laughs> the, the final uh, guard also moves to um, a, an intercept position and stands ready to protect the Emperor. Ulrich, you're up. Your I'm, action. I'm kind of yelling at Auric at this point as well. Once I did, yeah, once I did the intuition thing, I'm like, "What are you doing, man? Stop!" Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm literally Rorschach in the prison scene right now. <laughs> Just being all like, "You don't understand what you're doing." Okay, so Ulric, the you are <laughs> yes, entangled. Oh you are entangled three times over. So yes. you need to make an opposed strength test against uh -huh. Ulric. Uh, okay, sorry, against Wolfgang. Wolfgang, because Jehenna is assisting you, is going to be a plus 20 on that. So it'll be an average strength test for you. It'll be a difficult strength test for Ulrich. Average for me? Average for you, yes. Yeah. It's not going well. Excellent. Because you have won the, the opposed strength test, you may choose to add an additional entangled condition if you'd like. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, the you more have... he struggles, the more I kind of like. I guess I've kind of flipped around behind. I'm Juju. I'm, I'm BJJing you. I'm. I'm you know I've you're got you in well. Z. I've got you in Z guard, and I'm. I'm going for the flip and the bar and the. I don't. You're going know. for the the blue eyes white dragon at this point. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Ulrich, you now have four entangled conditions. And... I do. I do indeed. Yeah. Leon, you're up. Oh my god. I turn. I am sorry, your majesty. Uh, this man, or dwarf, has recently become a slayer, and it, he has not taken it well. It has uh, caused him some difficulties. I am very sorry. I'm just trying to <laughs> smooth the situation over as best I can. Yeah. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> it is the top of the next round um, and the Emperor has uh, will say cease this madness doing our best your majesty and um, uh, uh, the doors to the hall will bang open and 12 Reichsguard knights come charging in <laughs> um we will end combat here as the four of you, or five of you, oh. including the sergeant, are taken into custody. Yep. Oh, great. Delightful. Thank you for this. All right. Hang on. Leon, have you got the paper, or do I have the paper? I have the paper. Which paper? Because it came down, the paper that tells, that, that signed and gives us the land and everything. Or do I have it? You have you it. handed it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would have had it and tucked it away. Okay. And then, and then, I guess like I guess they've surrounded us at, at Halberd Point. I presume on the ground. Yeah. At that point, I'm going to let go, obviously, and, and surrender. Yeah. Because like. Yeah. Or, or it can't go anywhere. Uh, I think if you really wanted to, he could. All right. Um, <clears throat> take them to the dungeons. And we will cut. And I will say this will be the final thing before we end this evening's session. Two years later. Yeah. Oh my god. Three years! <laughs> I am gonna just feed you your beard so much. <laughs> Woo. Oh my god. Woo. You've done fucked it. <laughs> Let's just say I wasn't the one who, uh... Do you want to finish that sentence? Me, Nick, was not the one who may have incited this incident. <sighs> oh. oh. Oh, glorious, glorious, God glorious. God fucking damn it! Oh. Oh, no.
no, you can't do that. That was a decision. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, Leon, he time. was perfectly normal. He should get, like, lighter sentence. Come on, he's out in yeah. a year ago. Johanna <laughs> was behaving so well. <laughs> he's, oh. I'm just a guard. Oh, oh my god. God, that's it. I'm going full pirate queen. None of you are safe. All of you are keelhauled. None of you are free from sin. Mm. Be fair. The the fortune point was worth it, but um... was it? Was it worth it? Oh. Technically, we may still have the land. <laughs> oh uh, I'm pretty God. sure they take um, all of our belongings off. I mean, yeah, I was say, I don't we know don't know. That. We don't know yet. Unless I won three gold. That way, very secret, very very secretly. Yeah. Oh, and it's gonna be a brown note now. <sighs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> well, that could not have gone well better. Done <laughs> that could not have gone better. Well done, Nick. Oh Jesus Christ! That was the most painful thing I've ever done as well. I respect it. Oh. Two fucking years in the dungeons. Do I still think he's a lich now as well? you will love to see it. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um, I I can't say. You we'll have to roll to see if you are still convinced that he's a lich or not. But Fuck. we'll we'll worry about that next time. Jesus uh, Christ. And I just get a bonus, like ten advances in strength, because I just work out for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how many endeavors do we get now? Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I have a plan for you to do um, some prison endeavors. So there'll be some endeavors that are very much not able to be done. Um, At least I can read now that I'm in jail <laughs> for two years. I don't know. That the, I don't know that the Imperial Prison in Altdorf is um, quite the same as a modern no. prison these days. <laughs> no, we've probably we just been in a tower. Like... Yeah. I room. My limb atrophied. Yeah. That's I'm going somewhere between either, depending on how well we've been chained up, either I'm... Either I've been working out as well, or I've gone mad. Yeah. I feel like Johanna would be running the place by now. <laughs> I just, just come out, and I've just got a tattoo on my forehead that says, Alric <laughs> must die. Alric must die. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been saying I was right literally every day and every single one of you was like shut up shut up Johanna's like literally having to do a test to not murder um, <laughs> it's only like the fact that you way. make the best prison wine that you haven't been killed yet oh yep. my god oh my god alright guys you're in jail yep yep we <laughs> sure are Fuck my life. This uh, this could have gone either way, and it looked like for a what? for a moment there that it that it was going um, in the way of you guys had somehow scored a landed title. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was so. I, I should have just gone back and assisted, but I thought she had yeah. a throw. She's tough but scrawny. Oh no. I didn't know how insane the man I... was. <laughs> oh, well, that's what Janna did. <laughs> like, we were, we were trying to I help. It was quite obvious that we were, like, stopping, stopping yeah. him from what he was doing. I mean, when Johanna accidentally tangled Leon up, that might have caused some... I suppose. That's I'm more confused. reason for me to get off. I was being attacked by them as well. <laughs> yeah. It's true. You're <laughs> complicit, no matter what you think. There's so much evidence either way. Even choice in it. Oh. Oh man. Oh this man. So if we get interrogated, I'm like, I'll rat them out. Whatever <laughs> you need. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well done. That was fun. Well, I'm glad you thought that was, was amusing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Making my character a bit more. Mean. <laughs> it's all gonna be directed at Ulrich as well. I assume Georges was also taken away in chains. Uh, Billbot, I did. Almost definitely. Oh. 
prisoner Thank career you, unlocked. George. Indeed. Fucking yikes. Yeah, I'll say. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it can't be said that Johanna didn't try to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. It, it, it cannot be said. You, you did a valiant effort. In vain, unfortunately, but valiant not. Uh, interesting. Mm. Sorry about whatever you had planned for us next game. <laughs> um. Well, I will say, and mild spoiler, but not really. Um. I had always intended on winding the clock forward two years. Regardless. Oh, interesting. That was going to happen yeah. regardless. I so, don't know if it's two years at a, in a villa or two years in prison. Yep. <laughs> now, which one of those sounds more Warhammer? <laughs> Look, you raise a fair point. <laughs> I just... Ben, can I share the thing that you said to me? Please. You're, you're more than welcome to. Fucking shit. So Ben, literally <laughs> at the start of this session, was just like, Nick, I'm going to need you to keep a very close eye on your DMs in this session. And I was like, it's fucking weird, all right. And then the second that he said, Carl Franz is there, I was like, oh no, he's not there, but like a, a painting of it. It's like, no, he's there. I was like, I see exactly what you're gonna make me do now. <laughs> okay. Right. And then just every like five minutes as he's like describing the emperor there, he's like, you must slay the lich. It's like, God damn it. Oh my God. And there's like a voice in your head thinks that something doesn't feel right. You think he does look very pale. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> you sending me these messages. One of them is like, how do these other nobles and knights not recoil at being so near this thing? And I was like, all right, let's do it. Okay, come on. I also gave him an additional point of fortune to try and um, uh, pass that um, strength test. Oh yeah. my God. And that's what did it. That's what got me past it. I mean, I didn't get past it, but we got past it. Just ridiculous. Uh, the, uh, the voices! Be a guard for some other nobles? Um, I will say, actually, Nick, because you did yeah. actually give in to the voices, you can remove one corruption point. Oh, thank fuck! Oh. Uh. Excellent. I am now at six corruption. Oh, and I'm no longer entangled. <laughs> you are no longer entangled, that is correct. We're just incarcerated. <laughs> Condition incarcerated. Awesome. Oh my god. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That was, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was not quite how I imagined it would go, but it was, you know, it was fun. Yeah. That lich is still roaming out there. <laughs> we will see next time if you still think that he is a lich or not. Mm -hmm. It'll be very interesting if I still think he's a lich, because that'd be I so think, dumb. I think it's interesting if you now realise he's not a lich, and you yeah. feel the weight of what you've done. Yeah, yeah. yeah the massive I told you so is from all... Yeah. I, I meet with Franz again, and I'm like, I did th No, I pull out a ukulele, and I start singing to him. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. I mean, market prices might have changed dramatically in two years, so that goods I bought might be worth way more if I get them back. <laughs> oh shit! Or, or, or they could have been a crash in the market and I'm uh, like, they're worth nothing. They could have been another event during Uprising. I bet Dingy misses me. The end times could have just happened with like, yeah. Like, Uh, 